I've got another 15Q game today lined up, but before we get into that, I do want to offer an apology. I, I did come across as a little bit mean to the last reviewees that we had, uh, re that I reviewed their game for. And I, I do want to emphasize, I do this out of place of a love, and and hopefully for for all of our growth and understanding and getting improvement at the game, I do hope that other 15Qs look at these games and, first of all, not only... Uh, learn from their mistakes, but also can laugh at themselves too. Like there is a, there's an element of no matter what rank you are at Go, Go is so hard and so complex that you never know what you're doing. And so I want, I want like, it's, it's that humbleness that I've, that I, that I've certainly experienced, believe in, still experience, uh, that I, that I hope I bring to these game reviews. And so when I'm reviewing 15Q games, yes, I, I do admit, I let my tone of voice get a little bit mean and I apologize for that. Again, it was not I'm not intentionally making it. The, the player names are changed. Everybody's anonymous. Like, we're here to have a good time and learn. Um, but, you know, 15 cues are fucking funny sometimes, right? And so I want to celebrate that where I can. So, anyway, today's game uh, is another 15 Q game. I'm going to try to be very nice, but oh man, oh man, it's got some good moves in it. Uh, it's, I, 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 got, I changed the player names to Vampire and Zombie. So we have a little, a little uh, you know, match up to end end the debate. What's who's better, vampire or zombie? And this game, I think the the overarching storyline that I want us all to take away from it is what happens when one player has 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 we'll say better overall board strategy and, and board valuation, whereas the other player has better life and death skills. And so, what happens in that scenario? And that's the matchup we're going to see today. And this game has got lots of good things in it. Um, one of the players, the, I'll, I'll tell you the result. I won't tell you who wins per se, but I think, I think it's a two and a half point game at the end. So it's going to come right down to the wire, which is, first of all, really hard to find 15 Q games that come down that close. Most 15 Q games end in a giant blow up where one person just has to resign. And this one almost does as well, because at one point, one of these players has over a, well over a hundred point lead on this board. And... The rest is history. Anyway, you can kind of see where this maybe is going. Let's take a look. Let's review this game together. And uh, why are my arrow keys not working? I love my arrow keys, especially when they work. Let's see. Am I in the light? I guess I'm kind of enough in the light. I want my foot rest over here, though. Oh, yeah. Then we're going we're gonna to kick back and... Oh, yeah. Really dig into this one. So we got vampires black. Zombie is white. And we've got all Nirense to all 4-4 four, four openings. Brilliant. Okay. And we have an immediate 3-3 three, three invasion. These players... They know it's hip. They know it's up. They're totally playing the robot moves, and at least, at least until this point, because um, White is going to be like, "I can play robot moves too. Look at me. All right, fine. I I I don't recommend this kind of play when your opponent invades. Um, I think you have the choice to set the direction here in Sente, and you probably should. Um, and I think most robots now are actually preferring this way. But anyway, whatever." It's all, like, sure, like, non-standard, chaotic move at a 15Q level, let's go. <laughs> uh, Black's going to be the first to respond, and White really should play here. This is the move that we all love and expect. And White, White, oh my god, is going to trick Black so hard here, because White does not play this move. White instead, uh, oh, sorry, White first comes back and responds in this corner. <laughs> Basically, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit convinced, like, White actually doesn't know what to do at this point with this invasion, so he's going to let his, or to this invasion, right, so he's going to kind of let his opponent decide, and he's going to copy his opponent because he doesn't know what to do. Not quite how it works, but anyway, that's the, that was a thought that was going through my head at this moment. All right, so Black plays there, totally normal standard move, and White's going to play here. This is not standard, you shouldn't do this. Uh, it's fine. It's not like it's not like a game over kind of mistake, but white should absolutely play either this or this Or you can play old school. All these are better choices than this one. Again, this is not bad. It's not game over. It's it's totally fine um, Black comes up here. This is an overplay actually black should immediately be punished with a move like this and now black's gonna do some suffering um, There's no such punishing though uh, every bad deed goes on goes Turns good, I guess. And white comes back with his honey. Um, Black's 
other choice here is to play this honey first and then connect and then decide what to, to play. And even just this is um, fine. Okay. After this honey, white honeys, black extends. This is uh, good for black, uh, at least locally, just because white kind of played on the wrong side and white has these cuts. White's going to take this moment though to Tanuki. This cut looms lar large. Like it's like it's. Black can't play right now, but uh, that's, that's dangerous. Actually, it's probably better for black in this case just to actually turn anyway to make sure that black can't come under attack. Um, but white plays this honey here, and this is a bad move. Black should honey, which is what happens in the game. And white should just come back and pretend that this exchange never happened. Um, and just and just leave it. Um, white does not do that. White's going to make this kind of living shape here in the corner, which is not right. Uh, it's it's cowering way too much. And black is going to threaten this pseudo-ko, perhaps? Um, white doesn't accept the ko. White just connects, which is fine, although in this case white is still better off playing a move like this, just coming out. You just gotta get out. Just don't cower in the corner. Um, like, yes, black can take all this in sente, but white's fine. Like, white, white still lives in the corner without problem. Um, or can push out, can do all sorts of things. This is what I would expect. Um, when we play this move, we're asking for such trouble, because black should play here. Um, now, it's true, white has the ladder. And so white could contemplate cutting here, and the stone can't immediately be captured. Um, so white can essentially get some benefit here, but you can see that white is pushing from behind. It's actually very hard, very hard for white to do something with these two stones. So this is this is very painful for for white to connect here, and never having come out to the side. Uh, black at least got out to the side, so that was good. Um, however. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the part where black gets confused, and black decides to immediately start taking away the eye space on the first line of the game. When there are still all these cutting points and unresolved groups, we're going to kill this whole thing somehow. Okay. Uh, white cuts. This is good. This is a good cut. Like, this is this is great. Aji, if you weren't going to cut, of course, you can just play here to live and be fine. Um, but the cut's good. This, this black shape is a little, is very, very tenuous. Um, these two stones, not very healthy when there's a cut here. <laughs> so keep that in mind. All right, white's gonna cut, I like it. Um, black's gonna threaten a ladder, which doesn't work. Again, there is a nice white stone on that side of the board that's gonna ladder into, so this isn't really a thing. Um, again, black can try something like this, be a little bit more productive. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna start this ladder and then black's gonna realize, nope, can't play ladder, gotta just give up. And black's going to give up these two stones and come back and fix here, right? Right? No, not at all. No. <laughs> black's going to run out the two stones that should have been given up. And uh, white is going to come back and take this Atari, of course. Some of you might be wondering, oh, there's a Ko here. No, not really. It's not. It's the White has the ladder, so black doesn't have liberties to play this Ko. Uh, so this stone is just basically dead. Um, so black Atari's here. Uh, I don't know why white doesn't just come out again. This would just, this would just be like game over for black. Um, uh, because all of white stones would be connected here. This would be garbage, this would be garbage, and this would be dead. So, and white technically has a little bit of a wall on this side, facing all that influence. Granted, this wall is pretty sus, but still. So white should just play there, and it's pretty hard. However, white does not. White takes, which means black gets this free Atari and is able to come back and take Sente over here for uh, securing this group. Now, this is still fine for white. Like, better than fine. Like, it's still, like, imagine white gets a move there. You can see how quickly those stones die. Or even here, these three stones come under attack and this comes under attack. This is probably the more powerful move you want to play. Um, this is not asking for enough. Black will just happily give up and secure the outside. Um, and granted, this is not small. Uh, white is going to kill an additional five stones here, plus one, two, three, four, five, another ten points. So this is easily at least 20 points for white. Not small for a corner that white just totally kind of... I, I don't know what this shape is. <laughs> Actually, I know I, this shape comes up in a few other Josekis, but um, it's not one you want to make when you invade 3-3, three, three, right? You have to crawl and 
make your make your space bigger. <laughs> okay. After all this, uh, white comes away with a good result, not a great result. We had a chance at a great result. Um, black comes away with sente and is just sort of leaving these hanging. Okay, that's fine. Game on. White connects here. That's a little bit scared of a of a connection. <laughs> white can at least play something like this, um, but you know, sure. <laughs> Uh, also, I'm not sure if we're going to do the empty triangle counter. White really likes making these empty triangles already. <laughs> we already have one there. This one doesn't really count um, because we actually captured a stone there. Um, but we certainly have one here. So empty triangle count is uh, white's way ahead. Granted, black has given up three stones just for fun and leaves two cutting points behind. So that's not much better. All right. Black's going to Hane on top. This is good. This is good. We're going to put the pressure on this weak shape in white's group. Again, this is weak just because there's that many stones and that few liberties. Uh, white is going to pass. Let's <laughs> just capture. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Don't capture these two stones. They're dead. They're so dead. Uh, it's a great move for black. Again, this white group looks real sad. And white's going to play here. This is not a good move. White really needs to play a move like this right now to protect this cutting point. Uh, because, yep, black finds this in the game. Uh, black has two good options here. Uh, black chooses to kill this stone, which is fine. Um, but it might be more potent for black to actually kill this way. Oh, no, I guess you still want to come back this way. I, yeah, this isn't anything yet. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I take it all back. Either way, um, white shape is terrible. And black gets a nice corner. Uh, you might be looking at this cut, but this cut actually isn't that good. Now that black is so strong here... Um, these two stones have all the time in the world to, to save themselves and attack. So there's not much here. Um, white's going to crawl. That's fine. It's, it's a little heavy, but, you know, it's okay. <laughs> We're going to save the dumpling. Operation Save Dumpling. <laughs> um, you know, overall, white got a great result up here. I mean, by great, I mean... <laughs> what do I mean by that? Not the great... She white got an okay result, given... I, I, there's so many, there's so many caveats to these sentences because I have to say like, white played a bad move, ergo white should have been punished, white was not punished, so, but then black played a bad move, so then it's white who, black who should have been punished, but then black didn't get punished, so it's, it, it you guys understand? <laughs> um, in absolute terms, this corner is fine for white, mainly because there are these two cuts left. Like, if these two cuts were gone, I would, I would actually almost prefer black. I think I would prefer, if, if these were, if these were just connected for sure. Um, if we just put black stones here and here. Uh, this is, this is a much better position for black, even though white got the corner. And it's kind of out on both sides, not really true, but is out enough. Um, that's a good result for black. But because there's those two cuts, it's unfinished, it's, it's good for white. White just needs to find time to cut. Over here, this is a very good result for black. Um, this is a big corner. White's group is a little bit on the run. And yes, same thing. Black leaves a cutting point behind. But this one can be managed a little bit better. And also, it's actually a lot easier to give up these two stones than either of these three. So, all right. Uh, here we go. Game on. Uh, Black is now going to get on the empty triangle board <laughs> with this beautiful attacking move that you should never play. Uh... Yeah, black sh so should be looking at more options like this to just undercut the base. Or if you're going to continue leaning on top, at least a move like this. Where you get out and ahead, and you can see white still doesn't have a clear cut to take advantage of. When you play this way, you're basically asking your opponent to Hane here. And just make these three stones only have two liberties, very weak shape. And you're just saying, but there's a cut. No, there's not, there's not, I mean... There's not really a cut, because there's moves like this. <laughs> and here, if we play this out. Do, 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 maybe this, maybe we shouldn't do this. Uh, all right, that's still a good result for black. I take that back. <laughs> well, maybe it's not, I don't actually know. Is it a good result for black? It's too hard to say. Um, I think so. Even though this dumpling is bad, black needs to fix. Um, but then it's fine. All right. So, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe this honey is an overplay. I should, I should have asked the robot about this honey. Um, in that case, black might need to be forced out this way. All right, interesting. You might, you might need to play one more move over here before you can take advantage of these three stones. 
Um, but regardless, whenever you do take advantage of them, this cut is even better now because <laughs> Black invested another stone here to not get much. This became juicier. All right, Black's going to crawl, White's going to crawl, and Black's going to crawl again. At some point, uh, man, I would love it if somebody would just, just play a move that just threatens to get ahead of where this is going. But no, no, we're just going to keep on crawling. Oh, there we go, finally. But now it's kind of too late. Um, I don't even think White needs to respond to this move. All this, I think White should take advantage of this cut right now. This is, this is, this is a little bit hard for Black. Um, if Black wants to save that stone, maybe Black, White saves that and just cuts here. Right, and now we're actually, you can still see how this shape crumples, how few liberties it has. All right. <laughs> so some shape defects in here. White's going to crawl again, because why not? Black's going to fill in. That's, I mean, isn't the whole point of getting ahead? So, be, you know, so you can get ahead. <laughs> Black's going to come back and go behind again. All right, at this point, there's no more moves left to play here. Right, there's nothing There's nothing Black can do to actually disconnect. Uh, if you're thinking like this, this is just dead. If you're thinking about a move like this, well, White just has a move like this. This doesn't work. Black is just dead. Um, white can always connect. There isn't anything here for Black to do uh, to kill us. Even... even Leaving this hanging is totally fine. Whoops. Even white goes and plays something else. Right? Totally fine. These two stones are dead. So, this is fully connected at this point. But the players don't know that. And so white's going to play another move. And then black's going to play another move. And then white's going to play another move. And black's going to play another move. And then white's going to play another move. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. You don't need to play this. Look, there's no cut here. There's nothing to do here. I think both players were just kind of hypnotized by making, you know, a stick. <laughs> and that happens a lot in Go. You're like, I will have the biggest, most beautiful stick. Let's make stick together. <laughs> both players make sticks. Is this too mean? Am I being mean to these people? I think it's great. <laughs> we're learning. We're learning. They just got hypnotized by the stick. <laughs> Don't get hypnotized by the stick. Decide how weak your weaknesses are, and then get ahead of the stick. <laughs> that's that's all I have. That's the heuristic. Um, also, actually, by allowing this whole sequence of events to happen and unfold, it did take away some of the value of this cut. Uh, these three stones are much stronger now because they've linked up to these three stones that were really weak before too. Like the two weakest groups for white to attack have gotten uh, connected and hence fixed. And so, um, this game, uh, you know, even though it started in White's favor all through this top right corner, um, that was all to White's advantage, by here that advantage is, is gone. Like, we're, we're back to a black favored game just because this isn't that many points when we get down to it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'm counting in pairs, 8, 9, 10, 20 points for White in a corner. Like, that's, that's White's territory. Is this worth more than 20 points? And I would have to say absolutely. <laughs> Even with those cuts. You can say, but oh, white can take more here. Whoops, white move. Let's give white a stone. Yes, white, it's even black sent takes white connected. But this doesn't matter. Like, um, here, we have to play this. I might not have to play with that cut, but um, we, can get, we can get another, you know, easily 10 to 15 points here at the top. But even so, black will get another move on the outside, and this gets really hard to invade as white already. All right, black. <sighs> Both players were so impressed with each other's giant sticks that they decided to poke them. <laughs> like, okay. There's no way, I know, I know this is white's only territory on the board, so white feels very passionate about it. You know, it's like your only child. You feel, you feel the whole world is resting on this. I assure you it is not. This white stick is totally safe. But white is going to insist on defending it. Okay. Both these players are, should be doing something else on the board. Like, this whole wall is such a bigger issue that should be discussed. Uh, black's going to connect. Absolutely, black should not be connecting this. Black should go do something else. Um, and then white, for some reason, still not convinced that his most beautiful stick in the entire world 
Let me give him some new color here. Let's let's uh, pick that color. The new stick. This beautiful, beautiful stick has a hanging connection here. This is this stone is safe. There's no problem with it. But he, but White is convinced he's not. So he's going to take Gote once again um, to make this stick even more beautiful. It actually just loses a point to do that. Like this is just a negative negative point move. All right, so that brings us to black and the rest of the board. Hopefully, we're done here at least for a while. Spoiler: I think we're I think we're done here for the rest of the game, but <laughs> you never can never be too sure. All right, let's take a sip of water before we contemplate the next invasion. Because these players like their three threes, they're like, "Oh, robots like three threes. We're gonna make three threes. That's great. You just gotta know a few patterns first. White, white. I think I think I know what white is thinking." And I do have to give credit to White for having, uh, like, like a grand strategic thought. It's going to be very poorly executed. <laughs> just, just, just letting you know. We'll look at the execution of this idea. But White is seeing, okay, I've got this cash. All I have to do is not let Black score the equivalent of about 20 points anywhere in here. <laughs> As long as black doesn't score 20 points in there, I can win this game. And this is erroneous thinking on so many for so many reasons. The first of which is black is easily going to make a bunch of points in the corner that are going to basically cancel out most of this. Um, but, you know, I like, like white's thinking about the whole board, and that's good. And so white's like, I'm not going to pressure the corner right now. I'm going to reach out to the center and just try to start reducing this giant potential. Okay. I approve of this. Um, Black's going to say, okay, I'm just going to make a bigger corner. That's great. And White's going to continue reaching into the center of the board. Just preventing Black's giant potential from reaching all four corners. Okay. Okay. This is not, none of this is good. But I like the idea. Like, like you have an idea, you're following through with it. Good. Black is decided, okay, you've reached into my sphere of influence enough, I'm now going to draw the line. This is where the line is being drawn. And, you know, I can't say that Black's wrong. Like, it's, it's, it's fine. Like, it's an idea. Like, you have all these stones here, we have to use them in some way. All right. It's, it's maybe a little heavy-handed. I would still much prefer a move, like, over here. Or even you know, over here, or over here, you know, build, build something more efficiently. This, this, again, it's very heavy handed. It's very much like you, I build wall here, you build wall with me. You know, we, we take, we hold hands. <laughs> like, we're going to, <laughs> it's a very simple question. White's going to try to go around this stone, which again, I don't really understand from my own perspective, but I think it's all, it's, it's like, this, this initial idea, we're just going to glide into the giant blackness, into the dark, very slowly. Like some, some amoeba just floating in the ocean, <laughs> just floating <laughs> towards the giant predator that's going to eat it. Uh, all right. Uh, Black's going to say, no enough, no more floating. And here, this is a very mysterious part of this game, because Black has a great move that's obvious, at least... I think it's obvious given the previous move, which is to cut. <laughs> this cut is great for black. How how are you like like starting a fight here? Um, where this little amoeba that's drifting towards us is is still just an amoeba. It's got no teeth, like no friends, like it's just an amoeba to ready to be eaten. We've got this little guppy fish on the other side. And uh, black has all the backup. All the backup is black are blackstone. So how is white gonna fight this? It's really hard. Um like, like, this? Are you going to fight this way? Well, that's fine. Black's going to fight this way. This is not to White's advantage to start any f giant fights here. This wall, again, if you learn anything from this game, it's going to be that this wall projects influence over so much of that center. Any fight that happens is going to be to Black's favor. So this is how Black should have played. Um, Black Haneid. Black, again, was just thinking, I just want to keep my stuff... <laughs> And again, Weiss is going to drift towards it. Black's going to connect that. I can't even say that's bad. I think that's fine. I think, yeah, if you're, if you're just going to protect your stuff, that's that's the way to do it. Um, uh, Black's going to attach here. 
White's going to just kind of corral this one little black stone, Hane. And this all makes sense from like a very, very local perspective, but you can see how small White's thinking is by just sort of drifting ever so slowly towards the black mass. Um, we're actually just provoking black to build it on an even bigger level. Um, these two moves for White are, are pretty inefficient. We should find something better, even just something like this. Like, like you don't have to worry about a black cut here yet. Um, like, like it's not a problem. All the white stones are connected, so get something more. Um, white really is just killing off one stone. And I did, I did tell you, one, one of these players was much better at life and death than the other. Um, keep that in mind. Um, because it's going to occupy some of their thought thinking. <laughs> so it's like, yes, I made an eye in the middle of your moyo. I'm alive. Um, I don't know what this move is. I can't. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore it. I can't. I can't comment. <laughs> like, this is just no comment. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we saw White do this before this capture. No comment. <laughs> All right. Black is going to continue. Sort of just, just surrounding this, this amoeba group. And uh, this is also good, right? You're just pushing it gently from both sides. That's fine. White's going to insist. White is now totally safe, has two eyes. And uh, here, I like a move like this better, but sure. Um, I don't know what black is doing over here. This is very confusing to me as a go player. Like, this is all fine. Like, this is all making sure the corner is alive and we're getting corner points and um, pressing into this white group that we're containing. And I understand this, right? You're going to block black maybe maybe this will, you can use this to get something over here i don't know um but then black's going to insist on taking this is an end game move that you take away the territory from your opponent here white doesn't have territory here. there's no territory this also takes away the territory these two moves do the same thing but this one's so much better so black's gonna hane and white's gonna defend which also yeah this honey just doesn't work <laughs> did we talk about that because black connects the whole thing dies <laughs> So not only is this Hane bad, like, strategically, it's bad tactically, because the move just doesn't work. So Black figures that out, though, and White's able to capture a free stone. This is a trap. White should not be capturing a free stone. White needs to go do other things on this board. So they've kind of hypnotized each other again to this very localized area, um, where every once everybody's safe, they're not thinking of the implications elsewhere on the board. And again, that's a very common trap to fall into. Like, don't... Yeah, this is the this is the thing, and again, black is gonna say no. That's my this is my point. We're playing for one point here, like one point, like even even just cutting here, right? This is a minimum of ten points, probably closer to fifteen. Like this is a fifteen point move. Playing over here, fifteen point move. Playing down here, fifteen at least fifteen point move. Like you have all these moves that are that are so much bigger, more important, and probably actually at this point more, way more than fifteen. These the move here, move here, probably like twenty to thirty, um, just because that black influence is so easy to turn into something large. All right, regardless, white's going to say no, or sorry, black's going to say I defend this one point, <laughs> and white's going to say yes, I I I also defend these points. Um, Black's going to take this Atari, okay, and then come out here. And so again, Black gets another nice corner, and White has this tiny, way too over-concentrated group. And so this is this is rapidly turning into a, a game, a good game for Black. Like, White's going to crawl, push from behind, Black's is taking territory. White is getting one point here, one point here, one point here, in exchange for three points, three points, three points, maybe four points. Huge, huge loss for White. They just push from behind like this. Okay, so white now has a completely alive group, and black is just racking up the score. This is just, this is just so huge now. Um, we almost made 60 points at the bottom, just after these exchanges. Like 60 points, how is white, like we said this was maybe 20 for white, maybe white can pick up another 10 to 15. Here's six. Where else is white gonna get points? White is still pushing. Just this amoeba just keeps floating in the water, letting black get bigger. Oh God! Why would you play this? This is this is not a a point. Or I mean, it's a point. We're playing a one point move. Um, okay, and black's gonna completely surround the amoeba. <laughs> Granted, empty triangle. Don't do it that way. No, 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 no. If you really want to surround, this is much better. You might say, but oh, still leaves a cut. Yes, but I don't have empty triangles. These cuts are much easier to defend. When you defend with empty triangles, oh gosh, 
I mean, if we do this and this, you can start to see their problems. And you might think, ah, no problem, I'll, I'll Atari here and then I'll get this group out. No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> because white has a snapback, right? This is just... Empty triangles are so prone to snapbacks. Like, if you, if you see an empty triangle and you're like, I bet that can be killed somehow, or there's a defect there. Look for the snapback. Okay, that's just one example, though. Yeah, do not attack or surround with empty triangles whenever possible. That's just a great go lesson to learn. Oh, man. The, I, the lights, like, it's really late at night, and the lights in here are really bright, and I feel like I'm just, like, my eyelids are just getting pounded down by the bright lights. You ever have that experience where you're, like, in a place that's too bright, and your eyes are like, no, we give up. Like, we're out. <laughs> and your eyes are just like, nope, shut down. <laughs> that's how they're feeling right now. All right. We got this white group surrounded. And it's, I think it's, uh, it's around this time I th where the, it's around here a little bit after maybe, maybe, a little, yeah, it's more, actually it's a little later, I think. Um, but it's getting close to a hundred, it's getting close to a hundred point lead for black. If it's, if it isn't already, like it's, this is like, I can't, I, I don't have enough words to express how much potential there is for black on this board and how little potential there is left for white. Like, it is just night and day between those two. All right, but our vampire friend, or sorry, let's start with our zombie friend, is going to try to reduce it one point at a time. And vampire friend, he decides to defend it in the most violent way possible. There's no reason to do this, vampire. First of all, go play this. This is so much better, bigger. If you really want to defend, play this type of move. And yes, you might be like, hey, um, you know, white gets in, and you have to not get these six to eight points. But look how much better defended you are, and how solid and how little white, uh, how little chance white has to do anything else. All right, but anyway, we're going to play this co. Also, again, white decided to take here. I don't think this is necessary in the slightest. Like there's no there's no reason for this. This is the third time white has just sort of taken a stone or stones without reason. And so black's gonna take this co that white didn't start this co this co black should never be taking this co because there's always bigger things to do on the board. But again, black doesn't have to take this co because white hasn't started this co yet. And so they're ta black has take decided to take this co like prematurely. <laughs> um okay. Okay, hold on. I need a drink of water after that move. <laughs> this is like... Why? Why? I don't... Oh, man. That one That one hurts my brain. This is not a good co-threat. This is a great co-threat. This is also a great co-threat. I don't... Like... Like... That's also a co-threat. Like, pick one of those. This this one, just throwing it into the empty triangle... Like, empty triangles are bad because... If you don't have the triangle stone, right, these two square stones are still connected as long as this is open and this is open, right? As long as the two triangles are free, the squares are always connected. But when you play a triangle, you've connected these two stones that were already connected. You actually don't need this stone to connect them until, let's say, white, let's say the two triangles are free, and, and oh, here, let's just do this on this part of the board, right? Like, empty triangle, this is a better way to, to show you guys. These two stones are connected. If white plays here, then you have you can connect them. If white plays the other side, still same thing. Here, still connected. So filled triangles, this happens all the time when you fill a triangle. Your opponent plays here, oh, I have to connect now. Boom, filled triangle, this is efficient. But in this case, it made me pause because black has voluntarily Connected these two stones. So black has lost a move, essentially. Like, there's really no difference whether or not this stone is on the board. The triangle stone it takes away one point. There's no strategic difference. Unless white plays a stone exactly on this one spot. Like, this is the only move um, where this stone matters. Like, we've just given value to this black stone, because now black has this connection already made. Um, if black didn't have a stone here, then we could consider making this move, and that might be a cool Tasuji, but otherwise, mm, not so good. All right, black's going to target this way. We're going to continue fighting this Ko that shouldn't really be a Ko, and black's like, no, I've had enough of this Aji. I'm just going to take all this in the middle in the strongest way possible. 
So kudos to Black for doing something. You probably didn't need to do that. There's, there's still lots of moves over here that I would probably play first. But sure, absolutely. But now White is like, aha, now I can start the co. So White's already invested so many moves here. Right? We've, 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 for some reason, White thought uh, Zombie needed, needed to take this off the board first. Then we hunted. We fought a co for a little while. We won. And then we played a third move here. Never mind, never mind this stuff, right? I'm just looking at the stuff that's that was got played during this little Hane sequence. So White's in this for three moves. And what is White trying to win for three moves? Like, take away these points? Like, these maybe ten points? Three moves for ten points. That's not, not great. And we haven't won them yet. All right, but this is going to get a little bit better because both these players are so committed. You have to admire, like... Like, it's that 15Q spirit of, like, of like every, every stone must live. Every stone of my opponents must die. <laughs> right? All war is all ending. And so, <laughs> as war it is, we're going to fight this co. And not only that, black is going to make the co bigger in the process. Yes, this is technically a move that counts as a co-threat. But you're making the co bigger. Like you're taking you're taking this little fight about this like 10 point war you don't really care about. And that you especially don't care about it because there's moves way worth way more on this board. And you're saying, you know what, this area that you've been fighting for, White, we're gonna make it the biggest part of the board. <laughs> like we're just gonna turn it into the most valuable section. That part you've been really fighting for, let's let's double down. <laughs> Hold my beer. And White's like, yep, co on. So we're just going to keep fighting this co. All right, Black's going to make it even bigger. Okay. This is, this is, this is getting good. This is getting good. <laughs> like, more co threats. Black's going to make it bigger. Oh, God. Oh, and uh, here, um, when Black, Black extends, White, White's response to this is. Aha, that's not a threat, I won the co. <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> it's not, it's not how this works, no. No, no, no. All right, so black, or white, white invested three moves in this whole operation. <laughs> Bam. I'm not even sure if I should count that one. That was just, that was just a mistake. Maybe we shouldn't count that one. But, but white, white has been fighting a co for two moves, to get to get two moves, or paid two moves, I think, to, event, to essentially win this point and get Black a whole lot more strong on the outside. Oh, wait, no, no, this is okay? Is this okay? Oh, no, 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 I, I'm totally misreading here. I'm misreading. Guys, this is not over. Why should play here? This is, this is hard for White to, for Black to answer. Because <laughs> um, eventually, Black will have to come back and cut or keep crawling. And yeah, yeah, this actually, yeah, sorry. This, this is not um, good enough. It doesn't, it doesn't quench the whole situation. It doesn't, it doesn't quash the whole situation. There's still some Aji here. But oh God, white. Why, you played this one. You can't, you have to play this one, right? If cut, you, you kill. Uh, I'm sorry, white. I'm sorry, you did not do this right. Yeah, now the situation is totally over. But here, this is interesting. Yeah, even though these aren't going to die, um, White well, can get some free stuff. And free stuff right now inside of Black's territory is humongous. And so it might get played out like this. Again, you could cut, or you could play this one. Probably, I guess they'll probably play this one. Um, White well, can just keep on pushing. Just, you know... Like, even though these three stones aren't alive, per se, they're not really dead either. Black hasn't killed them. White's gotten some value, because now white has something on the outside now. The problem is white still might die. <laughs> like, this is still not 100% alive, and and I, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Um, but black will get a lot of strength for it. So, but still, if white lives anywhere in there, it's great. All right, anyway, so that was fun. If you just make an empty triangle here, you can just assume you're dead. So... So that's, unfortunately, game over for Zombie. Right, right, that's the whole game. 
No, sadly not. Where we got some, or I mean, not sadly, <laughs> excitingly not. Um, white's going to keep crawling here. And black's going to get fancy. Um, before I yelled at black for not getting ahead on this crawling group on the outside. And here he is kind of doing it. This is a little bit dangerous though, because we have a cut here and we have a cut here. And if we have a cut here, we also ha might end up having a cut here after black blocks. So this is going to get a little exciting. Um, white's going to push. That's fine. And white, bl black is going to hane. Okay. Now white's going to go looking for trouble. And hane here. Nice. And then cut. And look at this. Look at this. The coup is complete. Those. Or at least, at least, uh, this, this, those should die. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Oh, God. <laughs> Black plays an empty triangle, so white responds with an empty triangle in kind. Uh, this makes a seki. I don't think the players see it, though. Oh, they do. Okay, good for them. All right, so they find the seki. Yeah, if you're white and you're in this situation and you need to not die, um, you can just play here, right? Just kills. <laughs> like, this is Atari. <laughs> So white was one stone off. This is Seki, this is death. Actually, is there, if you play here, there's nothing. Oops, sorry, wrong color. Um, yeah, there's nothing. Mm -mm. Okay, always Seki. Uh, all right, so it is Seki for, well, what's white's move next, right? So white, white did gain technically but this evil empire still looks pretty looming. Like, this is still really big. Now, the good news is, is that white has a, has a cut here now. And that cut's really big, because it turns a Seki actually into death. And even though this cut doesn't work directly, it does mean, and I can show you, hold on, let's, oh, it's black's turn to play here. Wait, why? Oh yeah, black does need to play there. Um, if white cuts here, Right, black will not die in the corner because of moves like this. But you can see the that the the potential here. The Aji is so great. So all we need to do is essentially play some moves over here and make use of this Aji. This is probably the best one. And that threatens this cut directly. Black has a really hard time responding. This is probably the best move. Um, but again, you can just dodge and you know crawl out this way. Great. Uh, white's going to cut here, again, aiming at an empty triangle, but the empty triangle is actually connected, so this isn't as good of an aiming. Black has no business. You don't even need to do anything here. Just go and fix this or fix this. There's no reason to Atari this way and make these two stones mad. This is just caught in a ladder. This is not a thing. Um, do our players figure that out? They kind of do. Yep, Black's going to figure out there's a ladder here. And then finally, White's going to take advantage of this cut that's been sitting here for 150 moves. Um, except... At this point, this cut is useless and doesn't do anything, and, you know, oh god. Oh no, Black, why are you doing, why are you doing this? Look, you're up by over 100 points. At this point in the game, like, like, this is, uh, for sure, Black is over 100 points advantage. It's gonna be real hard, real, real hard to lose a 100 point advantage from this position. But yet I told you, at the start of this, the winner of this game only wins by two and a half points. So let's watch this, this beautiful train wreck. It's about to happen. White's gonna cut here, black's gonna tarry, and keep pushing for some reason. Um, I don't understand why, but anyway, it's gonna give white some momentum. White's gonna come back and take some gains off the board. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Um, Black's is going to shore up even more. Black's like, that's fine. I've still got like a hundred point advantage. You, you can take that and it doesn't even matter. I'm that massive. Empty triangle, dubious. Okay. And again, white's just killing stones for no foreseeable reason. <laughs> oh God, why are we fighting over the... No, guys. Actually, this at this point, this might be the biggest move on the board. Um, if white can't live in the corner, I'm actually pretty sure white can live in the corner. So I'm sure this is not the biggest move, but, um, that notwithstanding, that's the case. Okay. So white is going to run through here. This is nothing. This is just hope, hope on a stick. <laughs> um, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. 
White is trying, looking for something. There's nothing. And here, still nothing. But maybe <laughs> Black likes making empty triangles. So we know we got that. <laughs> um, white plays here. I don't know why White doesn't just Atari the empty triangle right away. Maybe it's because it's too obvious a move and his opponent would know how to answer. And this one's a little bit less obvious. Okay, so good. So Black sniffed it out. It was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not falling for that trick over here. Um, right, if Black played over here, there's this problem. It's actually not a problem though. There's, it's not even, doesn't even quite work. <laughs> Not a real problem. Well, maybe can white live? Seems unlikely. Yeah, still dead. Still dead, but hard sequence. Um, mm -hmm. um, okay, still dead. Still nothing, still nothing. But there's some places for black to go wrong. All right, now we take this Atari, sure. Uh, and then we crawl, okay. And this is dangerous. You can see that, uh, whoops, no, no, no. Uh, when black blocks here, this made an empty triangle. And again, I want you guys to be thinking about those empty triangles because <laughs> they can be taken advantage of. They're not, they do not have as many liberties as you might think. All right, so white's gonna, or black's just gonna uh, reduce this black group to two liberties, and that's, that's threatened to capture directly. And black is just going to block, and that is a really bad move. As black, you basically have to connect here. You have to, you have to fix this connection. Because when you block here, and lo and behold, white finds it, kabam, and kabam. Oh man, Black tries a move that doesn't work at all, but I don't think Black realizes how dead he is. And boom, Black has him broken through on the bottom. Huge swing. Let's see, that's a five, seven, 10. That's 20 points, just in, that's just a 20 point group that we captured. So we got a plus 20, plus we were removed over 20 points from Black's territory. And now we have a, we have a potential kill in the corner. Uh, Black's gonna block the corner. This is this should set your radars off a little bit though. This is not a good move. Like Black really should play. Uh, let's see something more like this. That looks pretty alive now. And the stone doesn't do anything alive. So a move like that would be very prudent. A move like this is not so prudent. And White's gonna play here first. I'm gonna contend. It's my belief that white should play there first. This looks better to me. Um, if black makes an eye here, now we have this very severe co. Black needs to win to live. All right, but we're gonna threaten this co. And white's gonna connect the co. Now at this point, you can still play this. It's just you should still play this way. Because um, this, this is another way to start the co when black responds over here. Again, I don't think Black always responds that way. I think Black should just back off. Still alive. Still alive. Like when you just take this, it's you're not you're not killing Black at all. There's no chance. Well, yeah, Black's gonna play your game and block, and they're going to connect for some reason. And then Black is starting to get worried about this, uh, either these this group or this territory, probably both. And it's like ah, that's a life. And I said this game was gonna be about whoops, no no no, don't delete that. This game was going to be about who had the better overall, overall strategy versus who could actually do some life and death problems. And so we're about to find out <clears throat> who is who. Uh, this is too small. <laughs> black, that's a... No, don't do that, Black. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, you fixed it. <laughs> Fine. White gets a few more points, but Black gets to seal off. And now White finds the move. And because White took a... Gote to fill in the co. There's not even or fill in yeah fill in the co. There's not even a co. This is just dead. Um, that's that's fine. You can kill. This also kills. Actually, there's a couple moves that kill in here, but um, same thing. 
So, all right, after this, the corner is dead. So look at all this. We've just recouped all this for white. Glory to white. Two, two relatively largest group kills, like two 20 point kills back to back. So white is, white is back in this game. However, that's still not enough <laughs> to win this game because this is still huge and this ain't small either. So even though white has made such tremendous grounds, it's not over. Oops, no, I didn't want to go back. Oh. <sighs> Hold on. Whoops, too far. Do not click that button, Nick. Bad Nick. All right. At this point, black is like, okay, I can, I can take some more endgame. And white plays over here for some reason. This is still on the board. Like, this is huge. This, whoever can find this has a chance to win the game. <laughs> Let's put it that way. They're going to play this end game. Okay, fine. Black's move. All he has to do to win is just play here. But he's going to play this move. This is negative a point. This doesn't do anything. You lose a point. Okay. White's going to look for stuff. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. White's going to connect. It looks like they're going to go to counting. They're playing negative point moves. Negative point. I assume I should check the result. It is Japanese rules. So these are negative points, in fact, or point losses. Um, we're going to kill all the empty, the extra stones off the board. And finally, here we go. White found it. White gets to play it first. And the last 15Q game, if you remember, also had a last-minute kill, or, yeah, it was a kill in that game, in the top left corner, where both players did like played out all the end game, got to the end, went to scoring, and the black player went, oh, is there something here? <laughs> and poked it for the win. Here we go, white. You found the 3-3 three, three point. Black's going to block on this side. Um, white's going to draw back. That's not the best. I think best move for black here is this. And actually, after the after the combination of these two, I don't think white can live. Uh, I, really, I, I don't believe it at all. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a dead shape for white. Um, white can do some interesting things and kind of get out, but there's no eyes. Or there's one eye. So that's just a one eye corner. So this move doesn't work. Um, but you could have played here. And again, this move's really big because it kills this, which also kills this. So this is a, like a double kill. All right, but white's going to pull back. Black's going to fix the shape. White's going to crawl. And you notice when black fixes this shape, it's not as good as this move because your black's not undercutting white with this empty triangle. Don't play the empty triangle. That's really all what this whole 15Q series is about. It's just like, don't play empty triangles. If you can do that, if you can avoid that, if you see, oh, I'm gonna have to make a new triangle. Oh, is there a better move? You just, just have that radar or have that little ping in your brain go off, a little alarm. Well, Black's gonna play another empty triangle, okay? Uh, and then here, uh, certainly looks like Ko is what we're going to. Um, it's it's White could have also played this move, and I think this is also Ko. That's not a way to get the code, though. Um, hmm. It's actually hard. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't fill in. That's the Salvatari. Oh, maybe maybe because it's Salvatari. Maybe it's actually not Ko. Um, all right. I'll, I'll have to read that out a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure in this shape when there's no Atari, when, there's, when you can't approach on this side. It certainly doesn't feel alive. Uh, that's good. There we go. There's death. That's not even co. Um, yeah, there you go. That's this is the move. This looks good. Although here, no, this doesn't work either because of this move. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Inconclusive, but looks alive to me after on first glance at least. All right, but this move we're offering co. And uh, you know this looks reasonable for white. It's uh, actually not code, although is it? Oh no, it's still code. Yeah, it's code. It's code for sure. 
Okay. Uh, but white doesn't play coat. White plays a B2 bomber shape. So that's a little bit of a failure. And now we're back to being dead. However, uh, black is totally unprepared uh, at this moment to pop out the eye. So one of these players is better than the other at life and death. And as you've probably summarized or surmised at this point, it is not black. Black does not see how to kill this shape. And black maybe is distracted by worrying about the shortage of liberties over here. It's not a real shortage of liberties, but nonetheless, black connects here. Which means <clears throat> white lives in the corner, like miracle. And again, I think white should live in the corner anyway at the, in this particular position. Uh, but the way they get there, they both have to make mistakes to get to this particular shape. Uh, so after here, um, white's, black's, uh, white's going to cut. Black is just freaking the hell out. <laughs> Black is unable to read this. Um, I don't know why. But unable to read it and just lets white kill more. White should just be asking for more. White should just keep extending. Well, that's fine. White is going to take. Block. Um, I don't know why white is fixing here. Mysteries of the universe. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we get pass, pass. White wins by two and a half points. Whew. Yeah, I should be drinking something other than water after this. So, in order to get this win, White had to find life up here. White had to kill this down here. White first, I mean, technically found life by killing here, I guess. So it's able to kill this. Um, both players together kind of found this Seki. And uh, White also did, technically had to find life in here because it wasn't looking good for a moment. Um, and those are just areas of the board. I mean, obviously White found life in here, but that was to his strategic disadvantage. Um, in all, the, all those places, Black Black wasn't able to, to work the local shape well enough to just make eyes or, or pre prevent eyes from being taken or take your opponent's eyes. And... Uh, <clears throat> Even so, Black got, continued to get this huge advantage in the middle just because White was just so focused on these little groups. I do kind of feel like White was almost... Like like both players are obsessive, right? When you're playing at 15Q... And again, I was 15Q. Like, I, I, I remember being 15Q. It was a fun time to play Go. Like, it was arguably, like, the, the most fun I've ever had playing Go because you don't know what the hell is going on. Like, like you're just... You're like. Like, you're carefree. You're stress-free. Um, everything is exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. When you get better at Go, Go becomes stressful because you can see into the future. And that's, you know, anyway. So 15Q is amazing. I, I kind of wish I could go back to that and play some 15Q Go. Um, I forgot my original point was, but I'm sure you guys all figured out what my original point was, Right? Oh yeah, 15 Qs. Yeah, they get very laser focused, right? They have this idea of like, oh, I want to go do this. And that's all they pay attention to for the next 40 moves. And that totally happened here, that laser focus. Um, we saw that happen with this wall and certainly with white trying to amoeba out into the center. Um, I, <clears throat> it's fitting that I called white a zombie because he, you know, made things come back to life. But also he sort of meandered slowly towards his opponent. Um... Yeah, so there there was this this hyper focus on the local and you know you you're 15 Q you can't you can't it's so hard when you're when you're that playing at that level to recognize the global implications of one move on this side of the board like it's it's impossible um, and that's fine this is part of your go development you just you have to go through this phase where you are focused on the local very immediate groups so you can uh, read more quickly you can predict the future in that area you can know. You can, you can feel confident about a result, so you can look to the rest of the board. Uh, and that's fine. Like, that's great. It's, it's, it's just a, a stage that everyone has to go through in order to reach higher and higher levels of go. Anyway, I hope I wasn't too mean. If you guys still thought I was too mean in this game, let me know, because, you know, I know I'm a little bit mean, but that's part of learning. Uh, I think if, if anyone is ever feeling too comfortable in whatever situation they're in, they're not learning. Uh, they're certainly not growing if you're comfortable. 
Um, two, two sort of end of video announcements. If you stayed with me this far, thank you. That's not the announcement. That's just a gratitude. Um, but the first, the first announcement is, uh, and these are somewhat related. Um, and I've hinted this before occasionally a little bit in some other videos, but I'll, I'll state it again for the, for the most diehards of you. I do think this is my last year making go video content on the internet. I haven't f officially decided like once and for all, but I, I'm, I'm just kind of feeling like coming out of this pandemic, like my life has gone in a couple other directions and I want to do some other creative pursuits and like, I'm feeling like this might be the last year. Um, so take that as you will. I don't, I don't, I, I, I hope that doesn't provoke you to all like unsubscribe right now. And cause Nick Sabicki is dead to us. I hope that doesn't happen obviously. Cause I'm still making, I'm still be making content for a while. Um, I would really like it to make it to video 500 at least. Um, that'd be great. That's that, that, <laughs> that would feel epic, I think. <laughs> um, but two, and related to the first, to number one, uh, I think I would like to do like, like a little best of clips video. And so if you have some favorite moments from my other videos that you've watched or remember, um, if you would be so kind to leave a comment with some of your most favorite, you know, clips from this YouTube channel, um, and timestamps are great. If you can provide a, like a YouTube link and timestamp, if you guys know how to do that, um, that'd be amazing. Uh, number one, just because I'd, I'd really like knowing what has carried with you the most, what has affected you the most, like what are, what are your, um, what are the way, what are the things that have been most meaningful to you? Um, but also I, I, re I really would like to do a little bit of like a retrospective video at some point and, and it would be great to have, um, you know, the actual fan favorites or, or the, you know, the viewer uh, favorites uh, mentioned somewhere in there. So anyway, it is, it is uh, with my, my most humble of gratitude. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. And, uh, you know, again, I'm still making videos here for a while. So, you know, don't, don't go anywhere. Don't, I'm not dead. I don't think. Unless this is like, some sort of afterlife situation. We should stop talking right now. We should go to bed. All right, have a good night.